What's up, everybody? I'm Jesse. And I'm Katie. Welcome to our course on gesture recognizers in iOS. This is a single part course focused on using and writing UI gesture recognizer subclasses. Before you get started, here's a brief overview of why UI gesture recognizers are so handy. In the very early days before gesture recognizers, if you wanted to detect a gesture, such as a swipe, you'd have to register for notifications on every touch event within a UI view. Each programmer wrote slightly different code to detect touches, resulting in subtle bugs and inconsistencies across apps. UI Responder, the parent class of UIView, still offers this option through its methods. But in iPhone OS 3, back when we got the iPad and the name changed to iOS, Apple came to the rescue with UI Gesture Recognizer. It's a base class from which all the standard gestures derive. With those subclasses, we're provided default implementations of common gestures such as taps, pinches, rotations, swipes, pans, and long presses. Using them not only saves you a ton of code, but it helps your apps work like a user would expect. In this course, you'll use five different subclasses of UI Gesture Recognizer. You'll begin with a pan gesture, and before moving on to pinching, rotating, and tapping, you'll add your own custom deceleration to the pan. Then, you'll make your own custom UI Gesture Recognizer subclass. Even though this course is designed for beginners to gesture recognizers, there's really no way to avoid vector math. Nothing too difficult, we won't be getting into 3D or even transformation matrices, but be prepared for a bunch of adding and subtracting 2D points and a square root here or there. Because by default, it's not that easy to write this kind of code when using UIKit, in the last couple of videos we'll be introducing you to the SIMD library, which does make it easy. Working with points and vectors like you'll need to when writing gesture recognizers is one of its specialties. For now, let's get to the pan gesture! 